Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today we're going to be talking about the Sabbath state. What is it and why you want to get in it? But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Actually, we're almost there guys. 200,000 subscribers. If we get 200,000 subscribers by June 5th, we would have gotten another 100,000 subscribers in one year, which is pretty crazy if I do say so myself. If you want me to reach that goal, absolutely smash that subscribe button. And yes, we are still very well on our way to a million subscribers. You're also more than welcome to enroll in my Manifest Your SP course. Now I have been getting amazing feedback so far where people have said that they feel so relieved even after the first module. This is a sacred capsule guiding you step by step every week for 14 weeks to get your manifestation to manifest your SP in the best way possible. I have laid out very clear, precise, succinct steps for every single week. I have homework included, I have meditations included, and I have affirmations included for each module. Not to mention a video and text to go with the module and what I will be teaching in each week. So enroll now, get out your notebooks and prepare to manifest your SP. If you would like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, you can also do that. That will be the third link in the description box down below. Additionally, if you would like to join collective coaching where I will be guiding through your manifest state you can join my members only by clicking the join now button. If members only is not available in your country, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link right below the members only one. It is the exact same program. Think back to those moments where hunger consumed you completely. You were famished, your body trembling for the need for sustenance, eagerly anticipating the moment you come back home and enjoy a satisfying meal. When you came back home, you indulged or perhaps overindulged, driven by the intensity of your hunger. Now picture yourself in the aftermath. You might be reclining comfortably in your bed or feeling the heavy pleasantness in your stomach. You are content and perhaps maybe a little bit too full. You experience a gentle pressure as your body begins to relax. Your thoughts slow down and a subtle dizziness sets in. The very idea of food no longer preoccupies your mind because you've already had your fill. You are at peace. You have met your body's needs. That state of tranquil fulfillment where your hunger is quenched, where your body is at ease and your mind is at peace, encapsulates the essence of the Sabbath. I also want to thank Keen for sponsoring today's video. Keen connects you with talented tarot readers and astrologers that provide you with a deeper understanding of your personal situation. I always love using tarot cards and Keen because it gives me so much clarity on whether or not I'm on the right track with my manifestation whether or not I'm in the right state. These readers have unique specialties designed to help you with your specific situation. Do you want to know if your subconscious mind is reflecting your desired reality? Do you want to know based on your current state and techniques, whether or not they'll reach out. Keen has a reader at the ready for you. And the thing is, you are in control. You have so many readers ready to connect via phone call or messages instantly. Go to trykeen.com slash reader or click the first link in the description box down below to try your first five minute reading for $1. Essentially, the Sabbath state is when you have been manifesting your desire and you no longer feel like you want it because you already have it in the 4D. So why do you need to manifest it? Essentially, it means your subconscious mind has already been impressed by your saturation, by you manifesting and manifesting and manifesting it all the time. This is what Neville Goddard had to say about the Sabbath state in his book, Freedom for All. There can be no mental rest until a conscious impression is made. If a man fails to fully impress upon himself the fact that he now has that which he therefore has desired to possess, he will continue to desire it and therefore he will not be mentally at rest or satisfied. It's like you are going to continue to keep being hungry 
if you fail to get yourself a meal time and time again. If on the other hand, he succeeds in making this conscious adjustment so that upon emerging from the period of silence or his subjective six days of work, he knows by his feeling he has the thing desired, then he automatically enters the Sabbath or the period of mental rest. Pregnancy follows impregnation. Man does not continue desiring that which he has already acquired. The Sabbath can be kept as a day of rest only after a man succeeds in becoming conscious of being that which before entering the silence, he desired to be. So this is how it really feels when you get into the Sabbath state. You don't desire your manifestation anymore. You feel tired or exhausted from doing your techniques. You suddenly start asking yourself, do I really need this desire? You feel calm, happy, and at peace all the time. You feel disconnected from your current reality. You can still visualize and use your senses and use these techniques, but you don't really feel the feelings anymore. You don't feel that emotion of happiness how it would feel like to have that thing already because you already have it. You've already experienced it in the 4D. You can do daydreaming or visualizing or a 10 minute affirmation session, but you don't feel that feeling of excitement anymore. You don't get butterflies in your stomach. Your mind automatically rejects the negative circumstances, old beliefs and doubts because that's your past life. That's like way behind you. It feels only natural when you think about your desire. Like it doesn't feel like you're forcing it. You are completely non-reactive to your 3D world to the point where if anything unfavorable happens, you just laugh at it. This is definitely what happened to me when I was at the last leg of my nine to five job. It has gotten a little bit too easy to live in the end or revise your negative thoughts. You are open to receiving anything. You're in full receptive mode. You are open. You know that it can happen at any minute now. So any next text message or any next call or any other opportunity that you see can be a step forward to get getting your manifestation, you're not even tripping over it. You know that it is yours and you have it 100%. So imagine this, your subconscious mind has fully embraced the idea that you have your desire, even though you haven't seen them materialize in your 3D world yet. But here's the thing, if you still feel that nagging feeling like you still have to do these techniques, or anything else that is negative or is the opposite of what I just listed out, it means that your subconscious mind has not fully absorbed the new reality. In this case, you have got to keep pushing forward once your conscious aligns with the desired state. Through your desires feeling like they are in your waking life right now, that is when the magic begins to happen. When you shift your focus from the problem to the solution, there's a mental calm that sets in. It's like your mind takes a break, signaling that your desire is fulfilled because you can't truly relax until you fully achieved what you set out to do. Again, Neville Goddard called this state the Sabbath, drawing from a biblical story where God created the earth in just six days and then rested on the seventh. Just like God's creation had two stages working and resting, our manifestation process follows a similar pattern. This is not to be taken literally though, when I first read that passage, I got really confused and thought that you had to verbatim persist for six days and then you will get into the Sabbath state on the seventh day. This is Neville's story and Neville's way of explaining the Sabbath. However, it does not have to take you six days. And once you get into the Sabbath, you are in the Sabbath permanently for that specific manifestation. So let's deconstruct Neville's story a little bit more. First, there's the laboring phase that he talked about. You diligently work and persist for for your subconscious mind to imprint to the new reality that you want, regardless of what your current reality shows. Then there's the resting phase, the Sabbath state, where you've done the work and now you're just chilling. You have essentially become the new you, leaving the old you behind. Once you are in the Sabbath state, you won't care about any timelines because you will know that it's already done. I believe the Sabbath state is really great as a navigation system to tell you where you are in your manifestations. However, I believe that you shouldn't give up until your manifestation is here. It is in full here and you are fully experiencing it. For example, I'm manifesting a million subscribers. I am not gonna stop when I feel as though 
I have a million subscribers. I feel that every single day, but I'm not stopping until I see it with my own two eyes in this 3D reality that I have a million subscribers, period. So that is what I suggest for you to do, even if you feel like you don't wanna manifest this thing anymore, or you feel like it's already done and you're in the state and you're in the receptive mode, just keep going. Keep using your same manifestation routine. Do not switch it up unless that feels right for you. But really, I feel like you should be business as usual and keep manifesting until it comes into your life. Take the Sabbath state as a sign that you are very well on your way. Additionally, you do not have to be in the Sabbath state in order to experience your manifestation. I have manifested many things without getting into the Sabbath state. It would just come with no explanation instantly or in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months. I just want to end this video off by saying that it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Do not listen to both the doubts and the validation from yourself. We want to be very professional and emotionless about this. The only thing that we should really be focusing on is our manifestation and consistently persisting and saturating our subconscious mind. We are in business. There are no hard feelings in business. There is no personal attacks in business. There are no compliments. There is no validation. There is no, you're doing this wrong. It's clearing all of that bullshit away putting your blinders on, not seeing anything on the right of you to the left of you, what's in the future and what's in the past, and literally just focusing on that one thing, your manifestation. Everything else is bullshit. So you can use the Sabbath state to help you, and I still do, and it makes me feel good when I get into the Sabbath state, but don't let that deter you or stop you from you manifesting and manifesting and manifesting until it gets into your reality. The same can be said for when you are doubting or overthinking things. Just don't let anything hinder you from your manifestation. The only thing you should be worried about is persisting and following your manifestation routine. That's it. And with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.